Hello everyone. In Zoho Invoice, you can change the way your transactions look and feel. This is done through templates. Templates allow you to customize the structure of your transactions to suit your business needs. In this video, we'll learn how to customize a template, add new ones, associate them to customers, the various functions that can be performed upon it, and also about the email templates in Zoho Invoice. Let's see how to customize your invoice template. Log into your Zoho Invoice account. Go to Settings and select Templates. For this video, let's choose Invoices and in it, the spreadsheet template. Hover over it and click Edit. You will be redirected to this page. In Template Properties, you can edit the template name, change the paper size to A5, A4 or letter, the orientation of the page can be landscape or portrait. You can mention the size of all the four margins of your document. You can select the PDF font from the drop-down. If you like to add any attention content to your document, then click here. You can also add them using the placeholders drop-down. Click preview to view how it will appear in the PDF. The attention content will be displayed above the item table. If you send invoices via postal services, check the include payment stub box and configure its preferences. You can also choose a background image for your document and position it according to your convenience. Here you can change your document's background color, label color, font color and size. If you make any changes and want to see how the document looks before saving it, you can simply click Preview. In the Header section, you can choose the fields you like to display in the header. You can upload your organization logo and also resize it. To show your organization name and address, mark the respective boxes. To change the address format of your organization, click here. To display the document title, mark this box. You can also enter a new title in the field below. You can choose to set a background image for your document. You can either upload a background from your desktop or the gallery. For this video, let's upload a background from the gallery. Mark this box to keep the header customizations specific to the first page. You can also format the document title, organization details and customer name here. In the document information section, you can decide to mark the data you wish to show in your invoice. You can also change the labels for the fields provided. Click the preview button before saving to see how the document looks like. In the item table, you can customize each of the components. For example, the table header, border color, column names and size. Let's look at it in detail. Under Labels, choose the labels to be displayed in the item table. Adjust the width of each field. You can also customize the field names here. If you are creating invoices from projects, verify the field names accordingly. In the Layout tab, you can change the color of the table border by choosing a color from the palette against the table border. Change the font size, background and font color of the headers in the item table. You can follow the same format to change the font size, background color and font color for your item rows and description. Click the preview button to view the changes before saving it. Similarly, in the total section, you can choose to mark the fields you would like to be displayed in the total column and edit the labels and layout sections based on your preference. Click the preview button to see how it looks like. The footer section of the document consists of notes, payment options, terms and conditions and signature. You can change the label name by clicking the field and the font size can be modified according to your convenience. To enable online payment for your customers, mark the online payment link field. Click here to add your bank details. 
You can follow the same format that we used for the notes section to edit the layout of terms and conditions. If you would like to add a signature to the document, you can upload one by clicking Choose Files. Along with it, you can also enter the name which will be displayed in the Authorized Signature box. Apart from this, you can customize your footer content by clicking here. The font size, font color and background color can be modified here. You can also add a background image and position it according to your convenience. To display the page number, mark this box. To add content apart from the terms and conditions, click Add an extra content. This will be included at the end of every invoice. Now click Preview to view all the changes made to your invoice and save it. Your template information has been successfully saved. Let's see how to add a new template from the gallery. Click plus new at the top right corner. You will be redirected to the templates page where you can choose from 18 different templates for your invoice. You can either choose the standard template or select the spreadsheet to view your invoice's PDF in a spreadsheet format with rows and columns. You can also choose a template based on your business requirements from the premium, universal or retail section. To preview the template, click this icon. You can also download as PDF and print the template. For this video, let's select the Spreadsheet Plus template. Choose to generate the template in the language preferred by your customer. You will be redirected to the Template Customization page. Click Save to confirm the action. You have successfully added a new template from the gallery. Now, let's see how to associate a template to your customer. Go to the Customers module and choose the customer that you wish to associate templates for. Click More at the top right corner and select Associate Templates. You can associate PDF and notification templates to your customers. For this video, let's associate an Invoice PDF template. Click the drop-down against Invoice PDF and select the Spreadsheet template. Click Save to confirm the action. You have successfully associated an invoice template to this customer. Apart from these, you can perform various other functions upon a template. You can edit your existing template by clicking the Edit button. Click the gear icon to set the template as the default one. Delete or use the existing template customizations for other documents using the Clone option. Let's see how to associate email templates to your customers. Email templates help you customize the email notifications that you send to your customers. To associate an email template to your customer, go to the Customers module and choose the customer that you wish to associate templates for. Click More at the top right corner and select Associate Templates. There are various email templates available in Zoho Invoice. You can either choose the default template or edit the existing one according to your business requirements. To create a new one, click Plus New Template and click Plus New to confirm the action. In the Template Creation page, enter the template name, fill in the From address and CC if required, enter the subject to let your customers know what this email is for, enter the message that you wish to share with your customers and add the required placeholders, If you would like to set this as your default template, mark this box, then click Save. An email template has been successfully created and associated to your customer. Kindly note that you can also delete, clone and attach files to this template if required. That's it for now folks. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.